You got your gun. You got your permit. Are you good to go? Not just yet. Let's talk about common mistakes people make when they're carrying a gun. I'm titling this video, Concealed Carry Mistakes. We don't want to see anybody arrested or even worse, dead. Let's talk about it. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. All right, let's get right into it. Let's start talking about mistakes people make when they're carrying a firearm. And I've always said this in the past. Remember, when you're carrying a gun, it's appropriate we have a thunderstorm ahead of us right now. Okay, when you're carrying a gun, you're a whole different person. We're going to talk about that. So I have a list of different things that I think people do wrong when they're carrying a gun. All right, let's talk about it. First of all, this is in no particular order. But let's just go through my list here, okay? Training. Some people carry a gun and they don't get trained. When you get your permit and you get your gun, whatever it is, this happens to be a Glock 21, we'll talk about different guns, but the first thing you want to do is invest a couple hundred dollars in personal training because there's so much you need to learn from a pro. Uh, they average about $35 to $50 an hour, so go get four or five hours worth of training. At least the first four, five, six months you get that permit, and then I, I say ongoing training if you can afford it. So training is, is, is huge. It's a big mistake permit holders do is they get their permit, they get their gun, and then they just think they can just carry a gun around, a deadly weapon, and be good to go. you got to be trained. Next thing, mindset. When you got your gun on you, you're a whole different person when you walk out that door. There is no such thing as road rage. There is no such thing as getting in an argument with anybody for that matter. And we're going to talk about even a domestic argument with, with your spouse, loved one, friend, anyone. We'll talk about that in a minute. There is no such thing as getting upset. Your mindset when you're driving is totally different. You're totally courteous on the road. You stay away from violence. We'll talk about that. But your mindset, your brain, has to be focused on the fact that you have a deadly weapon at all times. We'll get more into that detail here in a moment. Um, how about, I'm just jumping around here. How about the way you dress? Okay, uh, for instance, Okay, I got some t-shirts here. If you're carrying a gun, I don't care what it is, should you wear this shirt? What does this one say? Do, do not call 911, call 1911. I think it's a cool shirt. It's a great shirt for the range. If you're carrying a gun, I wouldn't wear a shirt like this. You're advertising that you have a gun. It's great if you don't have a gun and you're a youngster and, and you want to wear shirts like this, cool. How about this one here? Rock out with your Glock out. Cool shirt. Cool shirt. Sold thousands of them. Yeah? But I don't think that you should wear it if you're carrying a gun. Now, these are range shirts. These are for going to the range. How about this one? If you're carrying a gun, and there's 1,500 of these on the streets. Ever seen that one? That's my own logo. That's my own shirt. Here I am, Tom, telling you, don't wear my shirt if you're concealing a gun because you're advertising that you have a gun. This is for youngsters, uh, this is for going to the range and you have a gun, that's fine. These, these are range shirts, that's what these are. These are for going to the range. This is not for going to the mall and telling people, look at me, I, I'm cool. You know, I'm into huge knives and 1911s and you know, I'm, I'm into 44 Magnums. That's this exact gun. So, watch your apparel. You want to dress down. You want to, the word concealment means exactly that. You want to conceal your gun. And while I'm on that subject now, should you open carry if it's legal in your state or, or conceal? I say bury it deep. Conceal it. Don't be a target uh, by, the, by the bad guys because they're going to shoot at the person that's got a gun first. Uh, be stealthy. Keep everything hidden. Plus, if you're open carrying, which I think should be legal, and in Florida, by the way, they're pushing for it in 2013, the NRA is. Separate, separate video. But if you're open carrying, you could be a victim of profiling by law enforcement. So I say carry deep. So and let's just move on here. So I talked about how you should dress. You dress down. You do not, you just blend in with everyone. It's, it's my opinion, it's just my opinion. Blend in, 
you're not carrying a gun, you know you're carrying a gun, but no one else should. Okay, how about gun size? All right, macho guys, come on. We all love our Glock 21s. It's a huge gun. But what is better, a Glock 21 at home in the safe because it's too big, it's too bulky, or this happens to be a car 380. What's better, a little mouse gun? You know, that you can always carry 100% of the times because you want to carry 100% of the time or something that you're going to leave at home 70-80% of the time. So choosing your gun is huge. Not only the physical size of the gun, but the caliber of the gun. So if you think, well, I want to have, you know, a 44 Magnum and a revolver, you know, go shoot, go shoot one, okay, 10, 12 times in a row and, uh, you know, feel a kick on it, a recoil or, or a 45. Maybe you're better off with a 9 millimeter or a 40. So I'm just, you know, I'm bouncing around here, but the physical size of the gun is important on what you choose because you want to make sure you carry it all the time. Um, how about this? I talked about t-shirts and how you don't really want to stand out in society. What, what motivated me to do this video was driving around a couple of days ago and I saw this, it was a nice car. It was, I don't know, late model Toyota Camry or something. It was a nice car. But on the bumper sticker, he had this bumper sticker, and it says, uh, this car is protected by Smith & Wesson, and it had a huge, like a huge revolver there. I'm like, oh, but this guy. This guy, that, that car is going to be robbed when it's left vacant. The law enforcement's going to profile this guy. He's got a gun in the car. It's pretty obvious. So sticker, bumper stickers, I think, I, I think they're a no-no when you're carrying a gun. Or I just don't think you should have bumper stickers that say you got a gun in your car or on you. Just talking out loud, you guys throw in your opinion. I really haven't seen any videos where people talk about mistakes that concealed carry permit holders make. Okay, printing is a huge mistake. Um, that's why it's important to choose the size gun that's appropriate. That's why I like my shoulder holster system, because I can easily throw a shirt over this and I can easily, without even looking, Get, if this happens to be an FNH 5.7, without even looking, I can get at my gun. And it's, it doesn't rattle, it doesn't move. So you don't want to print. Um, we'll do a separate video on how I personally conceal all the different firearms that you know I have. And, and it's going to take a long time for me to do that video because I'm envisioning wearing like seven or eight different outfits uh, and doing jeans and dress, dress clothes and, and this type of clothing. So I'll do a separate video on how I conceal different guns with different outfits on, shorts, you know, flip-flops, things like that. But don't print. Don't print because you're going to get in trouble. Um, a bad holster system or a, simply a bad carry method. You know, if you, maybe you got a gun in your pocket and you think you're good to go, but you're sitting down like I am and you can't get to it. It's, you know, if you're in a restaurant and someone walks in with an AK-47, you can't get to your gun. You want to be able to access your gun. You want to have a good holster system. Like That's another separate video. Like I said, I'll, we'll do a concealment video on how I use my different systems. But um, make sure that your system works for you according to your height, your weight. Your, your, your gun has to be accessible. Sometimes an ankle holster just might be the best thing for you because you're always going to carry your gun. And uh, you can, you know, it's kind of a pain, you got to pull your pants up, but at least it's always hidden and it's not printing and it's down there. I'm just talking out loud. Good holster system is important. Um, driving habits, I think I mentioned this, but I, I really want to elaborate. When you're driving your car and you have a gun, there's no such thing as road rage and there's no such thing as getting, like, speeding. Forget that. You don't want to be pulled over some something silly. Uh, make sure that your car is all up to date on its registration. Make sure your tags... Uh, your, your, all your tail lights work and all that stuff. I know way too many stories from, from my viewers telling me, oh my gosh, I got arrested because my tail light was out and I was driving through the mall and everything's cool. I'm a good guy. I've never had an arrest record, but I got pulled over for the tail light and then uh, they found this in the glove box and, and a whole mess unfolded from that. Um, here's another one here. Do not tell anyone you're carrying a gun. This is a huge mistake concealed carry permit holders make. They're like, oh, I got this really cool 5.7. Here's a true story. Uh, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a Christmas party. It's about two years ago. I'm at a Christmas party. It's tables of eight. There's like six tables of eight. And all of a sudden over there, one of the tables, there's a bunch of commotion going on. I can see the manager coming and all this. And then all of a sudden, ultimately, the police came. I'm like, what's going on? We're at a Christmas party. Turns out one of the guys at the table was talking to a guy next to him. 
and the subject of guns came up, and he wanted to say, hey, I got a cool gun. I don't know what he had. And, oh, look at this. I got an FN 5.7, maybe, whatever the gun was. Turns out the guy next to him wasn't into guns. So he tells the waiter, the waiter tells the manager, the manager's like, oh my, a gun, a gun at my restaurant, I gotta call 911. And it's, you don't tell anybody you have your gun. It's a private, private thing. All right, um, domestic arguments. If you get into an argument, first of all, remember what I said about your mindset in the beginning? So there, you shouldn't even get into a domestic argument if you have your gun. You just leave the situation, whether it be your spouse, friend, whatever, brother, sister, somebody, in the household and you have your gun on you and there's an, a, some stressful situation comes up, I don't know, you can argue it over something, you put that gun in the vaults or you leave the, the premises and you don't, you don't even talk, you don't even get, in, you don't get into arguments when you have a gun on you. No matter where you are out and about, you just don't do it. You're a different person. You're calm, you're level-headed, you're smooth, you're smooth, you're relaxed, you're looking around, you're looking at your surroundings. That's what you want to do but you don't want to get in arguments. And then, um, like a knife. Um, are you going to carry a, a knife this size? This happens to be a Raha 3, or a knife this size. You know, I'm always touting this huge Espada extra large. You know, this is, this is not realistic. Don't try to copy me. This is more realistic, or maybe a 3-inch blade on this. So if you're choosing a knife, or a gun, choose one that the size is appropriate where you're going to carry it at a high persistency like 95 to 100 percent of the times. So those are some of the mistakes people make. Training, the mindset, the way they dress, the gun size, putting stickers on your car, printing, uh, wrong holster, wrong carry system, wrong caliber of gun, your driving habits could be wrong, you can get in trouble, you're telling people you have a gun and if you have to use your gun, some of, the people, some of the mistakes people make is that they talk too much also. If heaven forbid you have to use your gun, you just you don't say a word. You don't say a word to anybody, um, even, even Leo's. You just say, I'm in stress. I, I need, I need um, legal advice. I did a video on that in the past. We'll do another one. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is safety because I have to talk about safety. And if someone asks you where the safety on your gun is, it's right here. It's between your ears. It's in your head. Your brain is your safety. Think. Think things out when you're carrying a gun. Don't make any of the mistakes I just mentioned. Thank you so much. Please throw in your comments on this one in particular, because I know I didn't cover all the mistakes that concealed carry permit holders make. I just touched on a few of them. Please throw in your comments so we can learn from each other. We're all in this as one. I've always said that. I say it a lot in my comments also. We're all in this as one, so please comment as to what mistakes people make when they're carrying a gun legally. Thank you. Tom from Weapons Education. Please subscribe. Please tell a friend. Check it out.